the Galaxy S26 Ultra can explain its own path. The biggest major advantage for Samsung is that Galaxy Unpacked is a standalone event. Unlike MWC, where announcements and moments are layered throughout Barcelona, Galaxy Unpacked is 100% Samsung. Not only that, but given Samsung's size and the recognition that the S26 family is the elephant in the room, other manufacturers would consciously go out of their way to avoid clashing with the South Korean corporation. The knock-on effect of that is there's no other consumer tech news, allowing Samsung a clear run when presenting the new hardware and software to journalists around the world. When you have a spate of new products with complexity beneath the clean UI, you rely on stories from the event to explain the latest invisible magic working in the background. Samsung's next ultra flagship recently passed its most crucial test, and the paperwork reveals the major question. FCC certification indicates the S26 Ultra will run on Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 in all areas, signaling that a no-compromise duel for performance is going to play out for power users and mobile gamers. HCC document confirms Snapdragon for S26 Ultra. The device is listed in the regulator's database at multiple model numbers, such as SMS 948U and SMS 948U1 for the US, and SMS 948B and SMS 948B slash DS for other markets. The codename SM8850 is also used in these files as a reference to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 5, dubbed the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5. It seems Samsung is sticking with Qualcomm's highest-end chipset for the Ultra across all regions. Documentation published by the Tech Outlook further indicates that the platform will have support for Qualcomm's Smart Transmit Plus, an uplink upgrade related to the X85 modem within the Elite Gen 5 platform. It's another breadcrumb leading directly to Qualcomm. History indicates Samsung might use an overclocked for Galaxy tweaking of the processor, as has been the case with recent Ultras to eke out an extra bit of headroom for CPU and GPU rates without fundamentally modifying the underlying silicon. Why this confirmation matters for performance and gameplay? There are real-world payoffs from silicon homogeneity. When the same Snapdragon powers every Ultra, Samsung and partner developers can tune thermals, GPU drivers, and camera pipelines once and ship the same results worldwide. That often translates to more consistent frame rates in demanding titles, more predictable sustained performance, and fewer regional idiosyncrasies in benchmarks or battery life. The FCC application also reiterates triple band Wi-Fi 7, 5G, NFC, and UGUI. Wi-Fi 7's multi-link operation may combine bands across 2.45 and 6 GHz for harder to interfere with speed. Handy if you're into cloud gaming with high bit rates as well as transferring large raw image files. Smart Transmit Plus optimally distributes uplink traffic between Wi-Fi and cellular antennas for more dependable video uploads or hotspot tethering when you are on the move. Children's understandings of well-being allows for accurate device finding and digital car keys, suggesting Samsung is further investing in spatial connectivity. On-device AI could be another game. Though Qualcomm hasn't publicly disclosed Elite Gen 5's full stats in this scenario, the company's previous Gen flagship has offered double-digit gains to CPU or GPU efficiency, plus strong NPU acceleration for generative applications. Look for speedier text-to-image renders, better voice studio processing, and faster semantic photo edits, without as significant a cloud dependency. Pre-launch speculation hinted that Samsung could again separate chipsets by region, resurrecting its in-house Exynos for some variations. The FCC evidence ends that for the Ultra. This follows the playbook of recent Ultra generations, which have gone all in on Snapdragon for the top model and which have been greeted quite well by fans who value that dependable performance and broad game optimization worldwide. That doesn't mean there's no Exynos on tap. The Exynos 2600 has been hinted at by Samsung, and industry expectations suggest the chip will show up in the basic Galaxy S26 and S26 Plus in some markets. If so, then the portfolio would reflect this. Ultra targets maximum consistent performance, 
while lower tiers bring the features slash price slash availability matrix into balance. Clues found in recent One UI code hint toward modest design tweaks for the Ultra, while a leaked set of wallpapers has hinted at likely hues. None of that changes the headline. With Snapdragon 8 a light Gen 5 revealed today, the framework is built for a device that can cope with greater camera loads, more advanced game effects such as hardware-accelerated ray tracing, and longer sustained time under load. A release date is currently uncertain, and things might always change before consumer units start to ship. But indicators of regulatory certification are a reasonably decent indicator of whose silicon will ultimately be used. For individuals considering buying any of the hypothetical phones, the prospects are clear. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is poised to provide top-tier Snapdragon horsepower globally, combining modern connectivity and polish that's available across just one optimized platform. Previous Galaxy Unpacked events have first unveiled and then improved Galaxy AI, Samsung's artificial intelligence toolset. At the 2024 Galaxy Unpacked event, Samsung announced Galaxy AI with Google's Circle to search function. It was confined to Samsung for several months until Google opened it to the broader population. But for the months after the launch of the Galaxy S25 family and during MVC and the subsequent launches by other manufacturers, Circle to Search remained a huge point of differentiation in the market. A unique feature, a window of exclusivity, and the ability to have it discussed in full across the press. What's not to love about going early? Ultimately, it has been Google that gets to go first with new Android features, notably with the Pixel series. Galaxy Ad I may have debuted at Galaxy Unpacked in 2024, but in October 2023, Google launched the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro, dabbing them the first Ad I smartphones. Part of it saw AI services added to Android for all manufacturers to use, but Samsung was the first major consumer brand to step up and push AI significantly with the Galaxy S24 family. The business mapped out a route that tracked Google to begin with, including the aforementioned circle to search exclusivity, but also added Samsung's own capabilities, which have been continuously refined over the last two years. Samsung set out to define what an AI smartphone would entail for the mass audience. Any other AI-focused smartphone would be drawn into direct comparison with the Galaxy line. And with a lead in promotion and implementation, the Galaxy was the standard. Samsung's yardstick. The same was true in 2025. Google opened the door with the Pixel 9, and Samsung surged through it with the Galaxy S25 triple. It screamed. This is the way forward and the smartphone world once more followed. As we look beyond 2026, Google has already made its big move for this generation with the headline inclusion of Magic Q, an agentic AI service that would proactively reveal information from a phone's content to benefit the user. When someone texts to ask where you are meeting later that day, Magic Q can identify the restaurant reservation and incorporate that into a draft reply, along with supporting information such as the address. Last year, Samsung added Now Brief and the Now Bar to the Galaxy S25 and Galaxy AI. This draws in information from your phone, as well as external sources, to give relevant information throughout the day. If Samsung were to make a big move with an upgrade to Now Brief that adds more AI smarts, more data, and more local processing, it would not only complement Google's Magic Q approach, but also mark it out as the feature to have. It may not be this precise feature, but whatever it is, if the competition at Mobile Worldwide Conference is running similar principles, they'll establish Samsung as the leader in the space. If the competition is looking elsewhere, there will be a point of separation, and Samsung will have had more time to establish its decision as the right one. The exact date of the upcoming Galaxy Unpacked is not yet announced. There is an air of expectancy that it will be in late January, as opposed to mid-February, as was being anticipated in the fall. Whichever of those dates it selects, Samsung will still be ahead of Mobile Worldwide Conference, which starts on March 2, 2026, and will still have the first mover advantage. So, if you enjoyed this video, 
please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting tech news and updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.